Welcome to GTV. Today I'm going to show you how to test the stud diode using a standard digital multimeter. For safety and accurate testing, the diode should be out of circuit. A diode is like an electronic switch. It can be turned on when rated voltage is applied, commonly around 0.6 volts for a silicone diode, and it allows current to flow in one direction and blocks current from flowing in the opposite direction. When checking the condition of a diode or transistor junction, a multimeter is the preferred instrument versus an analog voltometer. The voltometer can give widely varying readings and can drive undesirable current levels of up to 50 milliamps through the junction. Many brands of digital multimeters have models that include a diode test function, like the Fluke 177 model that I'm using today. This function measures and displays the actual voltage drop across a junction. A silicone junction should be typically have a voltage drop less than 0.7 volts when applied in the forward direction and an open circuit when applied in the reverse direction. Let's begin the test by turning on the multimeter and setting the dial to the diode test function. This selection is typically indicated on the dial by a diode symbol that looks like this. In some cases, the word diode may be displayed on the dial. In this example, our stud diode is a forward diode where the threaded stud base is the cathode and the top terminal is the anode. The direction of the diode may also be indicated by the presence of a diode symbol on the diode itself. The anode and the cathode would be the opposite on a reverse stud mount diode. To begin, I will plug in the red probe into the appropriate positive test terminal on the multimeter and the black probe will be plugged into the appropriate common terminal on the test instrument. Now I will place the positive probe on the anode and the negative probe on the cathode. In this case, I am looking for a voltage drop of about 0.4 or 4 tenths of a volt and I am listening for a short beep. This reading indicates that the diode has passed this portion of the test. Now, if I were to see an open or short circuit, this would indicate a bad diode. An open diode appears on the multimeter with the same indication you would have with the probes not touching anything. The OL on the display indicates open leads or no continuity. A shorted diode appears on the multimeter with the same indication you would have with the probes contacting each other directly. The point 000 on the display and the long continuous beep indicates a zero voltage drop and a shorted diode. A shorted or open diode clearly indicates that the diode is bad. For the second part of this test, I'm going to reverse my leads. I'm going to place the positive probe on the cathode and the negative probe on the anode. I should get an open reading indicated by an OL on the display. This reading indicates that the diode has passed the second part of the test. Any other reading indicating a voltage drop or short would reveal that the diode is bad. To test a reverse stud diode, you would reverse the placement of the probes on the diode in the two tests just previously described. Static testing of a diode using a digital multimeter is limited and the only certain test results are open or short, which indicate the device is certainly bad. Passing results may not accurately determine that a diode is actually good. The digital multimeter is most likely not able to simulate the application conditions, such as current load or voltage levels. A diode that fails in the actual application environment may very well pass these limited digital multimeter static tests. Regardless of these limitations, static tests like these are very helpful during the process of troubleshooting electronic circuits. Digital multimeters and diodes, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.